Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Oakland, California, with a pair of Nimrod frauditors who attempt to get uh, for your requests, but end up falling flat on their faces. But you know what? That's what happens when you act like a self-entitled dipshit moron. People generally don't want to deal with you. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. For this video, we are in the city of Oakland, California, and I got Vigil Antioch with me. So our main goal and purpose of coming to this building today was to go to the elevators unit for Cal OSHA. So this division oversees all the permits for all the buildings that have elevators and they're supposed to be up to date. And the reason why we wanted to come here is because there's been many buildings that we've gone to where we've done audits where there's been elevators that do not have up to date permits. Oh, now all of a sudden we've got a frauditor who appears to be an elevator expert. I mean, many of them think that they're uh, qualified lawyers, but yeah, that doesn't turn out very well for them. So let's go ahead and see how this turns out for this particular frauditor right here. Okay, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Turn it off. He's pretty busy. Whoa, look I at that. I do not like to be recorded. Look at the you attitude on this guy. Record me. Do I, can, can I have, have your permission? Yeah, can I have no. your permission? Uh, no. You know what? You know what, what though? How can I help you? Aren't you a public employee? What's your name? Yeah. How may I help you? I'm asking you for your name. How? First and last. Larry Martin. Larry Thank Martin. You, Thank Larry. you, Larry. How are you? Well, the reason we're coming in today is because um, we film documentaries all over the Bay Area, and we ride in a lot of elevators in uh, uh, city halls, police stations, and whatnot, and we noticed a lot of government agencies with elevator permits that are expired. In fact, this building's elevator permit is expired. Okay, why are you not talking to the elevator unit? We, we're going, because we're filing a complaint. Isn't this where we do that? Yeah, you guys You're are not an employee. I'm not an employee. <laughs> yeah, he's probably not employed either because if he was, he'd have much better things to do than stand around acting like a jackass trying to annoy other employed individuals, such as this guy right here. Well, actually, we can file a complaint with any employee in that. In if that you department. are an employee of the building, right. so this is HR? I'm sorry? This is Human Resources Department? This is enforcement. Enforcement. Enforcement for what? Okay, well here, how about we do this? Let's just cut to the chase of why we're here at this department. We need to put in a public records request for this department. So do you guys... You would go you, to public No, you guys have a form? You're supposed to provide a form. It's state law. Federal law. Is this a public law? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Okay, and what are you... What are you I, need a, I need a form for public records. Okay, let me see if I can find one. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. We interrupt your lunch or something, Larry? Uh, actually, yes. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, you gotta love that fake I'm sorry. You know he's genuinely not sincere about that at all. He wants to screw around with all these employees and make them, well, his uh, private servants to begin with because that's the general thought behind a lot of frauditors' actions that these guys are their personal slaves. Nothing more, nothing less. They're there to bow down to the frauditor and lick his freaking boots. Yeah. Let's film that uh, entry log or whatever that is right here. You guys really should pay attention to what you're doing. Oh, we you are. You really should uh, change the attitude and be polite. You're a public employee, mister. You know what? We, we pay your salary. Tax dollars. We do okay. not have a PRA form to give you. This is their email address. Thank you, gentlemen, very we much. We can give it. We, can we give appreciate it. your time. Okay. We can give a verbal. That's a lot. Well, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to have you actually find the form online, print it, and give it to us because you have to. It's by law. You have to do that. You're aware of the Freedom of Information Act, right? Probably you can not. You go to the PRA office. Yeah, I don't have a computer. I can also show up here, give it verbally, and have you transcribe it. You want to do that or you want to get the form? Yeah, you could write it for us if you want. 
Oh boy, it must be fun to be a couple of unemployable jackasses to walk around and treat the employees like this. Well, I've seen this happen at other places and well, people like this generally get tossed out on their ass because that kind of behavior is pretty much not tolerated in a lot of businesses. So you know what? You two go can go F yourselves. You're making this way like more difficult. You're, yeah, we can do this the easy way or the I hard way. Get it offline. We're just trying to be nice here. You're being very difficult. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate your help. I'll tell you what. We'll come back in about 10, 15 minutes. So look online, get the form printed out, have it ready for us when we come back. Okay. Right on. Then we're out of your hair. Thanks, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Well, these two moronic dipshits have had their fun with Larry, so they move on to harass another employee. Many, many minutes later. Internal memorandum. So you would have to go through public records to obtain right. the notice. Okay. But I do have here that I am to direct you to a specific phone number or email. For, or any can, I, can I take a look at it? No. Why? It's not. It's an internal memorandum. Isn't it a public record? What the heck? Why is there so many people in here? We can, no, we can do a public records request anywhere. Exactly. Right. So let's do a public records request for that. And then the uh, history of all East Bay elevator inspections that are still not issued permits. A list, basically. Yeah, you can ask whatever well, you want. That's what we're doing. And public records, it'll be supposed That's what we're doing right now. No, you have to. Yeah, you guys have you guys have a form. We can do it in person. Legal department. We could we can do it in person. I'm sorry. We can do it in person at any California Public Records Act. We're allowed to do it in person. Post it right here. In writing, where you want. It's right here. Look, it's right here. Have you seen this? Do you want me to take a picture of it and show you? You know, every time a frauditor says the law says this, the law says that. You know what I say to him? Citation needed, please, because you know I see it so much where they say the law says this, but when you actually look it up, it says something entirely different. So you need to provide me with that citation, dumbass. But do you want, you don't have it. No, I want you to take our request right now. Okay. Take it, yes. Okay. So so you guys have a form, right? Uh, public request form, no. Yes. No? A little longer than a few minutes later. I'm gonna have you write it. No, no, so do you know what the the Disabilities Act? The, what you're the Disabilities Act, you have to write it if I ask you to. Okay, so you can stop now. Stop what? You, no, I, we're, I don't stop. understand the purpose here. I have I have bad handwriting. Well then your partner can do it. Do you have good handwriting? I don't have glasses. I'm not gonna write your request. If you wanna you you, know, you Okay. So that you could interpret that I or say that no, I. No, no, you're gonna you're gonna say it word for word. I'm not gonna do it. You you're gonna write it word for word. Huh? You under you understand this is the law. Since when is bad handwriting a disability? I've got bad handwriting myself, but that comes due to the fact that I was in college writing notes as fast as I could, having to scribble it down as the professor was talking. So yeah, I ended up picking that up that bad habit. Uh, and it's hard to get rid of. But that's no excuse for me to walk up to somebody and say, hey, write this shit down for me, otherwise you're gonna get fired. No, that's not how that works. That I write it for you? Yeah. Yes. yes. That you take no. it? Yes, it is. actually it is, man. Okay, can I see your name tag? I need to see your name tag. I need to see your name tag so I can request your no, information. I don't I don't need to get I need to know who's re who's public. denying me of my records request. I'm not denying you of your records. You just I have did. Your records request. I'm asking you to write it for me because you don't have a form. Uh huh. Because I'm not legal. Public the Disabilities Act legal, says that you have to write legal. this request for me if I ask uh -huh. you to. So now that you're denying me, I need to know what your name is so I can go through the proper channels to put in my official complaint on you. Okay. So what is your name? Tina. And your last Robert. name? I need to see the name tag. Okay. Yeah, clearly this uh, employee is not going to play your games. I mean, clearly you are not disabled, maybe mentally in a way, but certainly not physically disabled enough to uh, make her warrant uh, writing your BS for you. Five minutes later. Hey. Hello. How's it going? Okay, I'm Tina's supervisor. That's me. My name, David Henderson. Yeah, um, you have to go through the 
proper channels, just like uh, Tina uh, told you. The to uh, do phone a number, request? The, you use the phone number or the email address that she gave what you. What if we don't have a phone or the computer? Isn't that a phone right there? No, yeah, but it's, it's a, a camera. service. Okay, before Sorry. you... We're not done, sir. Before you leave, we're not done. Hello, David. Don't lose your job, David. Oh, Come on. Oh, no, David. All right, guys. Wow. So, so this is David. Yeah, I really can't blame him for uh, walking away from a couple of uh, smooth brain morons such as these two idiots. I mean, Tweedledee and Tweedledum here both are using uh, cell phones as cameras. So, yeah, they can use the cell phones, but they're not going to uh, turn off the uh, camera option long enough to do that. No, they don't have the competence to do that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?